A weapon hardpoint is an attachment location on an aircraft's fuselage or wings that are designed to be able to carry an external load. Hardpoints on military aircraft are numbered from left to right, wingtip to wingtip, and can be fitted with guns, missile launcher rails, or pylons depending on the aircraft. Pylons are adapters that are able to be fitted to some hardpoints to provide clearance for a fitment of external stores and are usually used to carry missiles, bombs, or fuel tanks, depending on mission requirements. Some aircraft hardpoints are movable. World War II aircraft such as the B-17 Flying Fortress and the B-29 Super Fortress had manned gun turrets to allow for defence from fighter aircraft. Some more modern aircraft such as the F-111 and the Tornado have rotating pylons on their variable geometry wings to keep the pylons and the weapons pointed forwards as the wings sweep. The AH-64 Apache with its fully articulated 30mm cannon can be slaved to the gunner's head position allowing the gunner to aim the cannon by simply looking at the target. The hardpoints in Star Citizen follow along in similar lines. Ship hardpoint types can be weapon mounts or pylon mounts. Weapon hardpoints are only able to mount guns and pylon hardpoints are only able to carry ordnance, missiles, rockets or torpedoes. The hardpoints are rated according to size from size 1 up to capital size such as size 10. The size number rating of a hardpoint can be thought of as points that can be spent to customise your weapon mounts. Weapons of the same size as the hardpoint can be mounted directly to it. This results in a fixed weapon that will always point in the direction of the gun cross. Larger weapons will provide larger potential damage output. Weapon hardpoints can also have modifiers fitted to them to provide different functionality depending on their size. Each modifier will use up one point from the hardpoint size. The remaining number is the maximum size weapon that can be fitted to that hardpoint. The modifiers that can be attached to hardpoints are gimbal mounts, which allow off-bore sight aiming. Gimbal mounts can be thought of as unmanned turrets. Gimbal weapons are normally operated by the pilot or a designated weapon systems operator in ships such as the Super Hornet. Twin link mounts allow two weapons to be fitted to a single hardpoint and manned turrets, which is controlled by a separate gunner. For example, the four weapon hardpoints on the Sabre are all size 3 we can fit four size three weapons, or four gimbaled mounts reducing the weapon size by one on each, giving four gimbaled size two weapons. You can mix and match the loadouts in any variation between. Smaller gimbaled weapons will reduce the overall available damage output compared to the larger fixed option. Another example is the dorsal man's turret on the new Cutlass Black. The turret is size six, because the turret is manned, we subtract one point from the total available size to arrive at five, one more for the gimbals to move the weapons around for four, and to fit two weapons, one on each side of the turret, we need a twin link configuration, so we subtract one more for a remaining size of three. This means that the two weapons able to be mounted on the turret would be size three. The cutlass can also have the dorsal turret replaced by a flash fire mount. As this is a specialised mount that includes a gimbal, this reduces the mount size by two meaning that a single size 4 weapon can be mounted on top of the cutlass instead of a manned turret. Pylon hardpoints follow similar size rules as weapons. Pylon hardpoints can be modified with missile racks. Missile racks can either be a single rack at the same size as the hardpoint, or a twin link to give two missiles on one hardpoint. Twin link missile racks will subtract one point from the hardpoint size, so a size 3 pylon mount can carry a single size 3 rack and missile or a twin-linked missile rack that can be fitted with two size 2 missiles. All this customization can be completed either through the port modification system or through the new ship customization screen that can be found under the Arena Commander menu. Selecting a hardpoint from the menu on the left hand side of the screen or directly on the 3D model will display the weapons or equipment that can be fitted to that location. Hovering over the mount on the 3D model will show a description of the mount type and size. Once a mount is selected, only the weapons or equipment that can be fitted to that location will be displayed. Select the item you want to equip to fit it. If the item requires ammunition, either ballistic weapons or missiles, don't forget to add the ammunition. Once you're happy with your loadout, select Save Changes and Apply to Ship to lock it in. Understanding which weapon and ordnance loadout is best for your piloting style and mission might be the difference between failure and success. Good hunting pilots. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, 
please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.